Hey everyone and welcome to a different type of video on my channel. First of all, I want to thank you all so much for the support reaching 4,000 subscribers here on my YouTube. I really appreciate each and every single one of you. Now, for those of you who know this channel, I usually upload gaming content that I record on my streaming PC. Today, I wanted to make a video about a problem I have been facing more than a few times now and since I've not found another YouTube video how to fix this specific problem i decided to make one myself so let's go over to the problem that i am facing first of all i started streaming and recording with the hd 60s now it's very easy to use this because the game capture for that program i actually have that on my pc i'll quickly open it so you just download this one and then you will have you will see I do not have the card here so I can't show you this but this is actually the program for that but it's to compare what the problem is now since I bought a new gaming PC I bought the 4k 60 pro but it's the mk2 so it's the newer version of the previous one now I've seen so many videos hyping this card um, but the thing is I had nothing but problems 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 with my sound so i'm gonna show you my setup and then explain how to fix it first of all this is the setup so i have my gaming pc here and then i got a streaming pc now the elgato is in my streaming pc as you can see my drawing is not that good but i tried so first of all if you go from the gaming pc you connect the hdmi to the hdmi in of the elgato but also use the out to go to the monitor. I will show you later why and why this is necessary basically. So this is basically connected. Then my display port goes to my uh, gaming screen. Here on the streaming PC, the card is just sitting there. Um, no further connections. Um, this here is also the video card that goes to the screen to show my when I'm screening or recording stuff. So this is basically my setup. Now, what is the problem? I am using actually TeamViewer to show my streaming PC. So here, the 4K capture utility is what the new card uses. What is the problem? This is the problem here, the sound. As you can see, I cannot go into the settings, but I took a picture of it. The microphone always works, not a problem. The sounds, every time when Nvidia does an update, Windows has an update or like 50% of the time I boot up my PCs, I have no sound. So let's have a look. I'll quickly make some noise. I can't make anything of um, any sound of this. But as you can see here, you will hear it on the video. This will actually make sounds and it will go to my streaming PC. There you go. So that's what you hear now. So actually the sound is working at this moment. Now, what is the problem that I don't get sound? As you can see here, for example, I'll just alt F4 this. There you go. What is the problem with the Elgato? What I see is you need to install, for example, Banana. It's a whole fuzzle to actually get this thing set up trust me i tried it and it's just a pain to do it i do not want to do it anymore everything works now my setup is perfectly fine so i do not use this what you need to do to actually make it work is install this old version well basically the version of these cards on your gaming pc the 4K utility is on a streaming PC. Now, what is the problem with the sound? Let's go to the problem of the sound. What did you need to do to get actually sound? This, this is the old software. Let's go to the problem that you will face. So here, the old software that is on my gaming PC you really need it why do you need it because here you can actually split the sound so uh, i'm sorry that is in uh dutch but this will say where do you want to hear the gameplay and on what connection is elgato connected so here i choose my headset 
I want to hear the gameplay on my headsets. And here, this is the Elgato. So this one will transfer all sounds to my streaming PC. This is very important to have. Then what else do you need? On the streaming PC, when you have no sounds, I'll go back to the no sounds here. The main problem is, I just couldn't find anything on the internet. Nothing, nothing, nothing specific on a dual PC stream. Now what you need to do, since I can't go into the settings of my streaming PC, because I'm actually recording with it. You have here on device, you see it's the MK2. What you need to do is, you have EDID modus. If you do not have sound, you need to go to, you need to select uh, screen, monitor. You select that, your screens will blank a little bit black and then it will come back. But then go back to internal. If you go back to internal, the capture card will actually get the sound back. Don't ask me why. Since they updated um, the Elgato capture cards, I constantly have problems with that. But that's basically the main solution if you do not have sound. Switch to monitor and then back to internal and then you will have the sound back again. Now, what about Discord and everything and how are you doing with the stream? Can you actually hear everything? Yes, I can. What did I do, for example, for Discord? Now, for Discord here, you can go to your settings. If I do not want to hear the party on my stream, if I do not want the viewers see the hear the party, I just select my headset. If I actually want, to, want them to hear them, I just go to Elgato Sound Capture. So if I choose this, Everybody on the stream hears my party that I am in on Discord. That also goes for, for example, like uh, the Xbox campaign uh, console and everything like that. Now, what about the notifications on your stream? Well, that's very simple. Since Elgato pushes everything around, you can actually hear install OBS also on the gaming PC. As you can see, this is the gaming PC. I just put my preview off. I also put every sound off. The thing is, I have my notifications in here. And as you could see, I also have my uh, overlay in it. But basically, you do not need it. Now, what will this do? When somebody follows me um, or whatever notifications I get, I will actually hear it. And the people will also hear it on the stream. So this is very easy to do. You don't need to do like a massive setup with banana or whatever. Just have OBS. It barely takes anything to run on your uh, CPU or uh, GPU. Depends on what PC you have. So the main things are also connect your multiple screens. As you can see, I have a G-Sync. What you need to do is my G-Sync is the first one, Elgato is the third one, and you only need to clone screen 1 to screen 3, and then you also have the 144 Hz or 240 Hz, it depends on what screen you have, but this is actually how you need to do it. So the sound problem is very easy. The fix is very easy for me. I do not know how other people have it. I, ha I have voice meter banana on my PC, but I'm not using it anymore. It was too much hassle. So basically the things that you need is, uh, let's see here. You need to change the EDID modus. If you don't have sound, go to monitor and then go to internal. You will get your sound back. I promise you will get it back. There you go. I'll close this. This is also very important what you need. Well, that's it. Basically, if you have a dual screen, a dual PC setup and you want to stream, just follow this. I know it's been, it's been a very big hassle for me to actually keep my sound. Um, I've sent support tickets to Elgato, but they just do not uh, reply to that or say, yeah, it's about your setup, uh, whatever. No, but just know 
the trick is go to that option here in your 4k utility and then you can actually see it um, also if you want to see my setup of obs i'll quickly show it so here yeah you can see this is the camera hey this is me people that know me saw me on the stream um but here also there is no audio i have to close my obs go to 4k utility change the option change the option back and i will have desktop audio again as you can see it's very easy there you go well that's it for today i hope the people that have a dual stream with an elgato capture cards are facing this problem that they finally solved the problem i do hope elgato will actually fix this because it's really annoying because elgato blames nvidia nvidia blames microsoft everybody blames each other and the people like me and you that make videos or that stream always have to find a solution for it so Algato, if you see this video please fix this this is very annoying uh, this is just a little workaround but your expensive cards should work how it should be okay everyone thanks for watching i really hope it solved your problem and i will see you next time bye bye